Proverbs 13, 12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. If there is no pre-tribulation rapture, I truly believe that that heart sickness will cause many to fall away from the faith. Listen to what Jesus told his disciples after he explained that he was going to have to go to the cross. John 16, 1 says, All this I have told you so that you will not fall away. They will put you out of the synagogues. In fact, the time is coming when anyone who kills you will think that they are offering a service to God. They will do such things because they have not known the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their time comes, you will remember that I warned you about them. In Matthew 24, Jesus lets us know that the great tribulation is going to be like no time this world has ever seen in terms of persecution and utter devastation of the planet. And Jesus also warns us all over the place not to be deceived. In other passages, the Bible also talks about how there's going to be false prophets and false teachers and that the false teaching is specifically going to be geared toward people with itching ears. To me, that implies that there's going to be some kind of feel-good teaching that people just devour and get excited about, but it's going to be totally wrong and it's going to lead them astray. I'm really sorry to my brothers and sisters that teach and believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, but I honestly believe that that is one of those teachings. In spite the fact that Jesus himself, our Lord and Savior, has warned us over and over again about persecution, tribulation, trials, martyrdom, and forsaking everything to follow him, we're hearing this doctrine that is trying to tell us, don't worry about it, that Jesus would never put his church through something like that. Now, as I've discussed before, tribulation is not the same thing as wrath. All of us agree that we're not going to be subject to the wrath of God, but Jesus himself warned us that we will endure and face persecution. And in the great tribulation, that persecution will come from the Antichrist. The Bible specifically says that the Antichrist is going to be given power to overcome and make war on the saints. Now, I know that a lot of people say like, how or why would a loving God allow his children to be martyred? And that's something that we want to grapple with now before we're going through it. Because if we're put in that situation and it turns out that the pre-tribulation rapture is not true, that in and of itself will cause a lot of people to fall away. Believe it or not, that's actually already happened in history. Corey Ten Boom talks about the mission fields. And I won't mention the country, but there was a certain country that had a bunch of Western world missionaries come to them and tell them about the pre-tribulation rapture and pump them up. But instead of a rapture, this particular church went through massive persecution and a huge chunk of the church literally fell away and abandoned the faith. And by the time missionaries got back to them, the pastors were so upset and they just wanted to know, why did your missionaries tell us that a rapture was going to come before persecution? And I think that that's just a small picture, unfortunately, of what is going to happen because the Bible tells us there will be a great falling away. So even though it really upsets people and it makes them really emotional. I believe that the loving thing to do is to really re-examine this 